Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn what is a class function in Click and how to use it. First of all, we will see the syntax of class function from Click help file. If you read from Click help file about class function, you can understand that using the class function, we can create group of values. We can create buckets or intervals and this group can be used as a dimension in various click objects. Class function has got four parameters. The first two are mandatory and the third and fourth are optional. The first one is expression. So class function can be used with aggregation function. In today's video, we will learn class function without aggregation. So you can also mention a field name instead of any expression. The second parameter is the interval. Interval means width of the bin, width of the bucket which you want to create. The third and fourth parameters are label and offset. Label means inside the class function what label you want to mention. If you will not mention anything in label then by default it will consider as x. And offset is actually the starting point of your bucket your starting point by default is zero. This offset is little bit tricky to understand, but I will explain you in detail how this offset works. So let's start and see how can we use class function. To understand the class function, we don't need a very complex data model or very complex data. So I have created records of 100 people and we have person ID and we have age of that particular person. Here person ID is primary key. One person has got only one age. We have a record of 100 people here. Class function can be used both places at the back end and at the front end both. First of all, we will learn class function at the front end. We will also implement all the four parameters and then we will try to implement the same in back end. I will now reload this application and now at front end, I will create two tables. The first table is for my person ID and age and I will sort this table by age so that we can verify our end result which we are going to get once we use the class function. Now here I will try to implement the class function. First of all I will write class age and I want to create bucket of 10. So that means 0 to 10, 10 to 20, something like that. So here you can see we are getting 10 different buckets and the buckets range are 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. The first one representing all the age which are greater than equal to 0 but less than 10. So if anyone is having age 10 will not fall in the first range, it will fall in the second range which is 10 less than equal to x less than 20. If I will use person id here count of person id it will give me how many people are falling in particular bucket. So if I will select here 50 to 60 then only one person person id 26 is falling in this category. If I will select 20 to 30, there are 7 people falling in this category. You can verify the end result from your right hand side table. You can see we have only one person falling between 50 to 60 range and the person is number 26. So if I will change this one to age 60, I will reload the data. So now you can see we don't have any person which is falling inside the age range 50 to 60. So that bucket is completely disappear from here. You can also see from the end result of class function. The class function here we used as a calculated dimension and the end result is appearing by default right align. That means click giving the class result as dual format. As you know that in dual format click is holding both the value. It is representing as text as a display and we can use the numeric 
value for sorting or for numeric calculation. So what numeric value exactly this class function is holding? I will create another dimension and I will say number of my class function and so from the end result you can see that the class function holding the numeric value as the starting point of your bucket. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 these are all numeric values and because of that you can easily sort the class function. I will remove this because we don't need this one. Now we will try to use the third and fourth parameter. The third parameter is our label. Instead of x I want to represent as age. So now x is represented as age. But the fourth parameter is complicated to understand. Let me write down the fourth parameter here and I will say 5. So what exactly happening here? The fourth parameter is actually a starting point of your bucket but it will consider that what is your minimum age here. So if your fourth parameter is less than your minimum age then it will start your bucket from 5. So your bucket is starting from 5 to 15. But now if I will say my fourth parameter as 8. Then you can see because 8 is greater than the age minimum age of my data model. So it cannot start from 8. If it will start from 8 then the person 080 person ID 80 that person will be missed from my class function. So what it will do it will instead of starting from 8 it will end with 8 and it will also consider the bucket width 10 because of that now the first range itself starting from minus 2 to 8. Let me mention here 15 because 15 is greater than 7 the range is adjusted from 5 to 15. If I will say here 2, it will start from 2 to 12 because 2 is less than minimum age from the data model. So it will start from 2 to 12. But if I will consider here 5, what is going to happen? Because 2 is less than 7 and my bucket width is 5. So the age range is starting from 7 because before that it should be 2 to 7 and it will include 2 but exclude 7. So the first range itself is gone now. The fourth parameter is a bit complicated to understand but once you start to play with this one you will understand how it works. Please also note that if you want to mention the fourth parameter you have to compulsory mention the third parameter. If I don't want to change the third parameter I can simply mention as x. Let me remove the third and fourth parameter which I don't want right now and I will copy this one and now I can implement the same at backend. So I will say as age bucket. I will reload this application and if I will create another table here and I will replace my calculated dimension from with my age bucket you can see I will still get the same result. Hope you understand now how to use the class function. We will see further use of class function in next few videos.
थैंक्स एंड हैव ए ग्रेट डे